Savannah, what is your topic? Why school should start later in the day. And proceed. Bill Watterson once said, you can drag my body to school, but my spirit refuses to go. How I took this was, he can physically go to school, but mentally and emotionally, he is just not prepared to go. He is not ready for the day. So most adults think that teenagers are lazy, and that's why we don't want to go to school in the early morning. Well, actually, there's a biological fact about it. Our circadian level is like a biological clock, and it resets around the ages 14 to 21. So when we're younger, we go to bed later or earlier, we get up earlier. But from ages 14 to 21, about that age, our circadian level actually resets, and we, it t tells our brain that we should go to bed later and wake up later. Well, then there's always the people be like, well, if we start school later, they're going to say that, well, what about jobs? Jobs start earlier in the day, too. This is, well, it will work because our circadian level switches back at about the age of 21. And on December 15, 2008, CNN stated that we should blame it on, blame it on early school start and biology. And by it, he's talking about our laziness. On March 10, 2009, InfoBarrel Barrel Auto said, each year, about 300,000 are injured in a car crash. Most of these car crashes are due because people are tired when they're driving. Most of them happen during school. So if you put them together, more sleep, less car crashes. On April 2014, Sarah McIvan stated that 20 to 30 percent of high school students fall asleep each day during school. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't want to be the one who falls asleep and then just have the people throwing stuff at you, or like you fall asleep like this and they hit your elbow and you fall flat on your desk. And also, it has to get really annoying for teachers to have students falling asleep every time and then just not listening and just have to keep repeating and repeating themselves. Here are some facts about sleep. Um, we need about eight and a half to nine point twenty-five hours of sleep. That's on general, and two thirds of high school students get less than seven hours, which is an hour less than what we should be getting. And forty-three percent of U.S. public schools start school before eight a.m. And scientists say you should start school at about eight thirty-nine o'clock, so that's half an hour before we should actually start. And thirty-three percent of teenagers report falling asleep during school. And I got this source from Sarah McIvan. Um, here's some history and facts about sleep. Actually, a long time ago, we used to get 12 hours of sleep in two intervals. We would go to sleep for a few hours, and then we'd wake up for about two to three hours, and then we'd go back a bit to bed until we're ready for the day. Of course, there's a lot of more manual labor and stuff involved, but 12 hours to people getting six hours of sleep is half big difference jump. And in England, some facts, in England, most schools don't start school until 8.45, and they only go until 3.15. So it's not like we're going to go to school at 8.45 and go till 4 o'clock. It's not like we're keeping us here longer throughout the day. And 75% of public high schools in the U.S. start school at 8.30 or earlier. I know the school in Hutch starts school at 7 o'clock. Some schools do. It's just really early. And how it would work, we could have six periods, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. or 3.15 and 8.45. It just doesn't really matter. Or some schools do five blocks. So you just have trimester classes, and you just learn it longer throughout the day. And we could start earlier in the year and end later, and also less breaks. I know most students aren't going to be okay with less breaks, but if we want to start school later, we obviously have to compromise with the teachers and staff. And of course, you're always going to get sports are going to get done until like 9 o'clock at night. Well, that's not actually the case. We would get done at the same time, because for instance, girls basketball here at Bold doesn't start until 3.45. So if we start at 3.15, we would actually be gaining more time than losing time. Also, you could start sports early in the morning instead because most students would be more motivated to get up early in the morning than to, to go to sports than to actually go to school. And obviously there's stuff teens can do to like get ready for the day. We can eat healthy, exercise, screen time plays a big factor in it because we go on our phones at night, looking through Twitter, start creeping on people, creep on other people, and just keeps going. And we can also relax. And it says we should wake up to bright light. Emily Richmond, on August 17, 2015, said that everybody learns better when they're awake, like mentally and physically. We have to have both, not just one of them. Others have been trying it. Um, CNN reported on December 15, 2008, that when Fayetta County High School delayed the start time by only one hour, the percentage of students getting eight hours sleep jumped from 36% to 
so over half of them are getting enough sleep. And United Kingdom, over 100 schools are trying it, and the results aren't in yet because they just started trying it. Wyoming's doing it, Idaho, Washington, many places are doing it, so why can't we start doing it? There are many positives to starting school later. There are also some negatives, like people have to drive and stuff like that. But positives are attendance goes way up. Most people come, don't come to school. They have the easiest class first hour, so they don't have to they don't have to continually go to it, so they can miss it, and it's not a big deal. Um, grades improve a lot. Um, less car crashes and depression goes down. And these are just some of the positives. There are obviously a lot more. And so these are the reasons that I think why we think, I think we should start school later in the day because there are many positives. There are stuff we can do to help, obviously, and we're going to have to compromise.